Hello, this is Dr. David Allen, and I want to talk to you today about pacifiers. Pacifiers are great. They do exactly what they're supposed to do, which is to pacify babies. Babies have a natural tendency to be sucking on something, whether it's a bottle or a breast or a thumb or a finger or a pacifier. This meets that need. And I would much rather your child use a pacifier than their finger or their thumb, because at 15 months, I can throw the pacifier away. I can't throw away their thumb or their finger. So it's okay for babies to use a pacifier. Now I do recommend that parents at 10 to 12 months limit the pacifier to just the child's bed because it's beginning to do a couple of things. Now probably in the car and long trips it's probably okay to let them use it then too because those can be pretty long and loud. But at 10 to 12 months it begins to do a couple of things that we don't want it to do. One, it begins to misshape the mouth. Keeping this in their mouth, on the front of this, it keeps a gap between their upper and lower teeth, and that gap will persist. If a child comes in at two years old and is using a pacifier, I don't even have to see the pacifier. I can look at his mouth and tell the parents he's using a pacifier. I won't usually say it that way. I'll usually say, does he use a pacifier? Because I already know. And then I'll show them the gap between the upper and lower teeth and say, we need to get rid of this thing. Now, the other thing that it does, it affects their speech development. At you know, 10 to 12 months old, they're trying to learn to talk. They're learning how to use their lip and their teeth and their tongue to form sounds so they can communicate with you. It's all part of growing up. But if you're trying to learn to do those things and you've got this stuck in there, you can't learn to say those things what you're supposed to say those things. See that? I mean, that's very clear. So you've got to do something to stop that. So what you do is you limit it to just their bed. At 10 to 12 months old, it stays in their bed all the time. It doesn't go anywhere else except on those long trips. And that will eliminate those two problems because they're just going to be using it at night or in naps, and they'll still be able to learn to talk. So how do you get rid of it finally? Well, at 15 months old is when I want you to get rid of it completely. And you might have, you know, several of them. You know, they're scattered around the house. They're on this. They're on that. Well, get rid of all those and just stay with the one. Then you take that one. You take some scissors, let's see how, can I get up here really close, and you cut just a little bit off that, the end of that, and you gotta cut a little hole in there, it's hard to do, there we go, I cut a little hole, I don't know if you can see that little hole, I cut a little hole in there, then they put it in their mouth, and it doesn't feel the same, it feels a little different, but that's their pacifier, if they hand it back to you, say no, that's your pacifier, and you get back down there, to pacifier. So that's what they use. Of course, it's only going to be in their crib. It's not going to be anywhere else. And they get used to it. Then, three or four days later, you cut off a little bit more. Well, that's your pacifier. Then you cut off a little bit more. Then you cut off a little bit more. Then you cut off a little bit more. And cut off a little bit more. They can't use it anymore. But they've gotten used to not using it anymore. So it's okay. That's the way you get rid of a pacifier. It works every time. Now, they can't go out and buy another one. They can't. Now, grandma may go out and buy them another one, but you're not going to go out and buy them another one because you know it's going to affect their teeth and it's going to affect their speech. So, time to get rid of the pacifier at 15 months for sure. At 10 to 12 months, limit it to just their bed. And again, the pacifier is not a bad thing to use, but you got to get rid of it when you got to get rid of it for the sake of your child. Y'all have a good day. You call us here at North Augusta Pediatrics if you need anything.